What's up, gamers? It's your boy Kahuna Silver right here on YouTube. It's been a while since I've been on the camera. Now, of course, I'm in my sister's house and I'm in her workstation, which she used to teach the kids online. She's a teacher, and since I'm here waiting for a plumber for her, and since she's back now in the school on school ground, you know, COVID is still out there, people. Keep your kids safe and everything while they go back to school. You know, Lysol, their book bags, their pencils, everything. Make sure they're wearing a well sanitized mask or something. Keep these kids safe going back to school. Now, while I'm in her workstation, I'm using her workstation and her lighting, you know, just to um, actually do a video for once. And this may be the most professional um, setup. And I want to hurry up and get out this chair because this chair is flimsy. But um, I want to talk about the current situation with Sony. And everything and just go around what's going on with sony and everything today now usually usually i, I was going to get into nintendo's butt but nintendo has been slowly turning around as of course as i've been in work and that canceled my plans for this year you know almost but since i'm going back to work and i'm going back to another job pretty soon you know i'm excited to go ahead and tackle sony and i'm gonna get to that nintendo video because it still needs to be said even though Nintendo starting to turn stuff around, you know, still not better. But last year's pandemic kind of put them in a slump. So, you know, with that being out the way, with that being out, let's get into the main part of this video. Now, Sony, this to set the tone of how this is going to go for me. I have not been kicking it with Sony for the last, you know, couple years, mainly towards the end of the PS3. When it got down to it, towards the end of the PS3, I was back to being an Xbox kid. And also, around that time, I got back into my Wii. You know, this is the start of my gaming again thing because throughout the years, I was more focused on music and just playing sports games. But now, I was getting back into gaming with my, my 360. I was playing Call of Duty and Need for Speed and my Wii playing Mario Galaxy, Zelda, and all that stuff. I was getting back into strong gaming territory. Now, I started on coming back to Sony. And with the PlayStation 4 going in and how it's going out, it's been nothing but a cinematic roller coaster for me as a mess. Because I did not like the more realistic tone, more issue tone games that Sony was putting out. And there was a couple of games like Spider-Man, um, Miles Morales and Ratchet and Clank, hint, hint, and so many, um, and so many X games that was, you know, making me feel more welcome at home, you know, and they wasn't really focusing on the games that I was really with Sony for, why the PS2 was my favorite console for, they wasn't really working on those type of games anymore, and it was just slowly coming to me that Sony may be in the process of being more cinematic gaming than it is actual gaming, and... With the recent news reports coming out, and there's multiple things to talk about here, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of the small points out. This is setting the tone about how I feel about Sony at the moment. And this is one of the part of the reasons why the PS4 probably was my boringest console to me. I only recently started gaming more on my PS4 due to friends and all. We don't even play so many games. What we're playing is games like Plants vs. Zombies, Uno, Speedrunners, small stuff like Brawlhalla and stuff like that. That actually set the tone for us. You know, so that should be a detriment to tell you how I'm feeling about current Sony at the moment. Now, with Sony, I'm going to be real with you here. Oh, after hearing about how they're shutting down the PS, um, the PS Vita, PS3, and PSP's um, stores, I felt, I felt kind of, well, it's in their time. But then again, knowing me and how I've been savvy at looking at Dreamcast games, yeah, them prices on those games are going to shoot up like crazy. Looking at the Persona games, some of those Persona games, just for the PSP games, are like $300 and stuff like that. And I felt like Sony should at least merge the, um, the market together to be with the PS4 so we can be able to download these games on PS4s and PS5s, you know, like that, you know. And I don't feel like it's going to be such a hindrance since they all use the same button control scheme, and, you know, some simpler than others, PS Vita and PSP, you know. But then I just feel that they're not trying to do enough, you know, to actually preserve these old games you know look at microsoft you know the best way for microsoft to preserve these old games they enabled um backwards compatibility on xbox one and now they're going full swing with game pass they're putting these old games on game pass i can just go on there download them for like a buck a month and, you know it's cheap value 
for me as a gamer. That way, I, if I want to play a game, let's say, um, let's say give me, give me a good game, Yakuza Zero, and I have Game Pass, I can play that. I remember when I first opened the library to Game Pass for the first time this year, I said, I'm going to try it out, I'm going to try it out. And I started downloading games right off the back. I started to download all the Yakuza games, Final Fantasy VII, so many other games that I downloaded. And then there's new games coming to Game Pass as well. I feel like... Microsoft is winning on the digital front because they have a system in place. You know, even though Nintendo's not even doing that great, you know, even with the digital, the old games um, kind of deal, I feel like they're going to add something on to Nintendo Switch Online that's going to let me, allow me to play old games sooner or later. Now, as in recent news, they had a studios, they had a studio called Ben Studio that worked on Days Gone. Days Gone did well commercially, didn't do well critically, but did well commercially. And Sony, and, and this studio was basically, like, planning for a sequel. And Sony, like, nah, we're going to cancel this. We need you to work, we need you to go into, like, Naughty Dog and stuff like that. And just help them with their projects and stuff like that. And one of the biggest projects that actually came out of this system was freaking um, The Last of Us Remake. The Last of Us Remake. And it was going to coincide with the TV show. And as of this video, I think some people got the information mixed up. People think it is not going, that's been canceled because it was costing too much or it's still going on because they really want it to be a coincide between the um, TV show and stuff like that. I'm going to be real with you on this front. First and foremost, why in the world would you cancel a brand new game, a sacred entry into a brand new IP? And have them work on a game that's already been remastered that can be played on your PS5 right now. Why in the world would you work on such a thing? That's actually ridiculous. You know what the funny part is? This game is on PS3, PS4, and most likely it's going to be on PS5 because why not have The Last of Us on PS5? You can already play The Last of Us 1 and 2 on PS5 due to PS4 compatibility, but that's about it. And that and uh, it's so freaking stupid in my mind. I don't get why Sony is so bent on The Last of Us as a, of... Y'all yeah, just released Last of Us Two. I was it last year? I think it was last year. I yeah, just released on. I yeah, just released Last of Us Two, and now y'all think about re remaking. This is not a remaster. It's a remake of Last of Us. Um, the first one, and it's gonna have some new direction going in it. I believe the report said. Um, so, but I still think the idea is stupid. And then we get down to Sony's little purpose of the Japanese market and what they're doing there and what they're doing with their smaller game studios and stuff like that. When I actually look at this all the way, I've got to be honest with you, man. Sony, Sony, Sony. This is the main reason why I didn't like the PS4 as much. Because the over cinematic of their games and the plot fact that Sony felt like they need to be more focused on these blockbuster hits, it does piss me off just a little bit to actually think about because now we see a company shifting from actual games to more cinematic masterpieces that don't really be over cinematic. Not every game needs to be cinematic masterpieces, you know. And honestly, you know, I, I put this on Jim Ryan, the new boss of um, Sony. I also got to put some of this on the fans because the fans... They are to blame for some of this. When you actually see these over cinematic games succeeding as well as it does versus the more creative games like Gravity Rush, Tearaway, um, freaking, well, Little Planet, Knack, all these other big franchises and even old franchises going down the line like um, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Dexter, you know, Sly Cooper, all these old franchises that Japanese players also like too, you know. When you actually look at the success and how Sony is shifting their for their their attention to the Western market and more, you gotta really ask yourself, who are the fans doing to prevent any of this? I feel like they're buying too many of these cinematic things and telling Sony that this is sending a message to Sony saying, Hey, look, we need more cinematic games. Now the fan base is trying to uh, recuperate on this, finally saying something about it. But I feel that the fan base is far so much to blame for a lot of these things going on because when you actually think about it the fan base they're buying these games like crazy and they're just not buying games like the other games they're buying these realistic over cinematic games versus something like gravity rush or something like um jack and dexter or you know ratchet and clank is a recent one i feel that 
yes, they're part of the problem. They're not saying much. They're not letting Sony know that we do want to play these games. Because when Sony talked about, you know, the old games, and he was saying, like, you know, this, I truly believe in console generations, and we only want games as a power, uh, possible on Sony's hardware, on these new um, hardware and stuff like that. Oh, I'm I'm feeling as if they're excluding the classic people who likes the retro game a lot. You know, I am one of those people who likes the retro game a lot. When I can't, when I don't feel like playing nothing new on my Switch, I go to my Nintendo um, Switch Online apps, which are the NES and the uh, SNES apps, and I pull up a game. And I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna sit here and just play this for a couple hours. You know, I don't really feel like playing nothing new, but <laughs> it's odd to me, you know. How Sony's acting at the moment. And this is arrogant Sony, you know. I feel that Sony really needs to calm down and really need to think about what they're doing. They really do need that humble heart in their system. But guess what? If the fans are not there to deliver that humble heart, then they're going to keep doing what they're doing, you know. They're going to keep moving along with these plans, you know. I'm one of the persons who wants Sony to acknowledge classic gaming because ain't no way in heck... And I am going to spend thousands of dollars on a freaking copy, on just one game, on a freaking copy of Persona, <laughs> the original Persona that's available on a PSP for $400. Why I could have just downloaded it off you know, the PlayStation Store or something like that. But people saying, well, you had your time if you didn't do this. Nah, man. Y'all, y'all use that same excuse with us Wii U players. Now what's up? Now what's up? the tables have turned, huh? But now, you know, with the classic games, how they treat the Western market and their direction with their own first party lineup, I'm not liking the new Sony that much. I'm not liking the new Sony that much. I just feel that Sony needs to snap back to attention Real fast before things turn ugly. It's already bad enough that people can't get their hands on a PlayStation Five. Imagine, imagine how things are gonna look when they're waiting too long. Not only can they get a PS Five, but they're waiting long because now Sony want to make these Marvel masterpieces uh, all over something. But you know what? I'm just a Nintendo gamer. I'm just a Nintendo gamer. You know. I'm not that big on Sony's direction. I was hoping, I was hoping that this generation, you know, Ratchet and Clank was my first, Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man was my first foray into thinking like, yes, we don't have something for the gamers, finally. We have something for the gamers, you know, we're not cinematic people. We want gamer games. But as of right now, yeah, the future is not looking good for Sony if they keep on with this direction. But hey, again, I'm just a Nintendo gamer. It's your boy Kahuna Silver, signing out. Deuces.